Hi there, it's Ryan G. Wright with DoHardMoney.com. And today we're answering a question of the day. If you're not familiar, every single day I answer a question. And if you've got a question that you would like me to answer, please type it in the comments below and I'd be more than happy to answer your question of the day. This could be real estate related, investment related. I would love to help answer the question you may be having. And today we're gonna to be talking about how can I finance a home with bad credit? As you know, credit's an important thing in this life and we get judged by it, we get measured by it. People decide about our propensity or our ability to repay based upon our credit report. But some people have had problems, maybe medical problems, maybe you've had a business issue, maybe you've had gone through a divorce. Whatever the case may be, you may find yourself in a situation where you have bad credit. So first off, what I wanna say is, you working on your credit is an important thing. You don't need good credit to invest in real estate, but it makes it easier to invest in real estate if you have good credit. But if you don't have good credit, there are definitely ways to invest in real estate. So if you have bad credit, one of the first things I recommend doing is start working on your credit. Um, you may wanna hire a firm to help you out with that. Um, you may wanna just start calling some of your creditors, trying to pay things down, trying to get on payment plans, whatever the case may be. Um, but you can go to annualcreditreport.com, uh, I think it is, um, and that's the one that the government has. Um, you can get a free one every single year. This is not a paid thing. You don't get your scores. Um, if you want your scores, you actually have to pay for your scores, but your scores aren't what's important. If, you're tr if you know you got bad credit, it'll tell you what derogatories, what late pays, what collection or whatever the case is on there, and then you can contact those creditors and start trying to work things out. You can also hire a firm to help you out with it, but it's actually fairly inexpensive. I think for 50 to $100 a month, somebody uh, can come in and help you with that. So work on it, but don't stop that from letting you invest in real estate. See, if you have poor credit, there's a couple of things that you can do. One of the things you can do is wholesale. Wholesaling is the idea where you go and find a property, you put that property under contract, and you sell that contract to somebody else. In some cases, you may need to close on it, but in lots of cases, you just sell the contract. So the idea is, I go get a property under contract for $100,000. I then go find somebody that wants to buy that property, and I sell them my contract and say, give me $5,000, and you can take over my position as the buyer in this contract, and then you can move forward and actually make the purchase on the property. Nobody cares about your credit when you're doing a wholesale type deal. And one of the cool things is, if you're a member working with us, we have buyers that wanna buy those contracts, and so you just have to find the property, put it under contract. If you're a member with us, we've got Investor's Edge and ways to help you find these properties. Some things you need to be looking at is wholesaling these properties if you have bad credit. Um, also, um, you can, it's something's called a bird dogger. A bird dogger, when you go hunting, uh, let's say you go pheasant hunting or something like that, there's typically a dog that sniffs around, tries to find a deal, and when he finds, finds a bird, I said a deal, um, he points at it, right? Um, he might just stop and lift his nose, points in the direction of where this bird is, so the hunter's gonna go up there and then scare it up and shoot the bird and have their harvest. Um, a bird dogger is similar to a wholesale. A bird dogger is going to do a little bit less. A bird dogger is going to go out there and find opportunities. And then rather than them negotiating it and doing those things, they actually give the name and phone number over to somebody else. And they are the ones that finish the negotiations. And then they pay a fee. I'll give you a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks every single time you find a deal. Just call me with it. I'll go on the appointment. I'll figure it out. And that's called a bird dogger. So you can be a bird dogger or you can be a wholesaler, even if you have bad credit. Um, but one of the important things I think you need to keep in mind is start working on fixing that credit along the way. If you can take some of that money you make from wholesaling so you can fix that credit and pay off some of those things, renegotiate, you can negotiate with uh, people you owe money to, especially if it's in a charge off or something like that, and uh, say, hey, I owe you $5,000, would you take $1,000 payment in full? Meaning you've paid it off, they're happy with it, you're happy with it, and you don't have to pay more. And then you can work with a firm to try and help get those get your credit scores up. Why is that important? Well, when it comes to flipping properties, you don't have to have great credit, but you can't have collections, judgments, and those types of things. So um, hard money lenders typically aren't looking at um, your ability to repay, they're looking at the property as their collateral, they wanna make sure there's a lot of collateral on that, um, meaning that they could sell it for a lot more than what they're into it. Um, so they're really not gonna care, but collections, judgments, and charge-offs could attach to the property, so they're not gonna allow those. And they also know, hey, if you're getting collections and charge-offs, 
you're probably not going to be a, the greatest borrower in the world to us. We're not looking for perfection, but um, if you're if you didn't pay people and they had to come after you and had to get a judge involved, that uh, doesn't look good on our ability to collect from you as well. If we get into a problem situation, so those are going to be things: collections, judgments, charge off. So if you have those things, you need to work on bird dogging or work on wholesaling. Um, if you have not the best credit, spend some time and some money on fixing that because in the long term, the better that credit is, the better rates you're going to have. So even like with a hard money lender, you're going to pay a little less if you have good credit. Well, that'll save you the money you're just right there. Also, if you want to invest in rental properties, you're going to have to get a bank from a traditional loan and they are going to care about your um, credit. So getting on the road to fixing that. So if you've got bad credit, start wholesaling and bird dogging. Um, when you're doing that, work on fixing your credit. As you do that, start working on on some fix and flips. As you do that, then you can hopefully have your credit in a good situation where you can start buying some rental properties, getting those loans from the bank. So um, if you enjoyed this video, if it's been helpful to you at all, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. Also, if you have a question of the day you would like me to answer, please type it in the comments below. I also have a couple of videos I think you might be interested in. What credit scores do you need to get 100% financing is a video I've got that I'd love for you to take a look at. I know you'll enjoy it. And also, how much money do you need to invest in real estate? How much money does it start? Does it cost to get started in real estate investing? You can watch that just right over here as well. And if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. Every single day I come out with one of these questions of the day and I'd love to have you part of the community. Otherwise, check us out at dohardmoney.com for other helpful tips, tricks, softwares, tools, whatever you need in real estate investing and make it a very profitable day. Bye for now. <laughs>